Hey guys, and welcome back to Pikmin. When we last left off, we made our first steps into the Forest of Hope, knocked down some barriers, discovered our fuel dynamo, and uh, we've set the place up pretty well for a second uh, incursion into the Forest of Hope. This time, let's see if we can leave with a few more parts and boost that Pikmin population up just a little bit. Now, you can see our red Pikmin there on the floor still buried some of them have matured which is nice let's go pluck these guys now you also notice that that Pikmin uh, nectar grass has also come back so let's go see if we can uh, use that how many have we got here wow we've got like 39 out in the field that's mental and you can also see the pellet poses which are the flowers which have the pellets in starting to regrow they did about three or four days to regrow I think there we go. We've got our soldiers ready to go. Very nice. Uh, Olimar, don't throw those guys. Now, as you can see, the uh, yellow onion there has regrouped nicely. Which is good. And the onion is now on our side. Okay, let's split these guys up. Because we still do need to build these numbers up. They're still a little bit weak source. Right, let's start plucking the grass and hopefully we can get some nectar out of this. Now we don't really need to worry too much about powering up yellow Pikmin because I don't think there's any major um, advantage to having them flowered. What are we looking at? That's better. Right, let's go rob this patch of grass as well and then we can in continue on our day. Nice. Alright. Come on, guys. This way. Um, so, what do we actually have here? We still need more yellows. Nope, we're good. No, nope, we're good. We're just trying to pluck Pikmin. Alright, let's segregate these guys. Not bad. Um, okay. Ah, there's a five there. We can grab that another time. Now, we did uh, pretty well destroy the wildlife around here. Now, the wildlife does repopulate, but I can't remember how quick the wildlife repopulates. So, we're not going to worry too much about that. Let's just try and get some of these uh, yellows populations up. Alright, good, good, good. Good, excellent. Let's get some more reds out as well. Just a few. Because um, after all, these are our frontline soldiers. Let's get 30 more of those guys. Okay, that gives us 90. Although I'm not sure how many yellows we have on the field. Now we need... I think we need 30 yellows on the... Out. I think. Look, it's so annoying when you're trying to pick up Pikmin and you've got a group on you. Okay. And Olimar just like randomly throws them when you're trying to pick them. Yeah, not cool, Olimar, not cool. Right, okay, so what have we got here? You guys separate into two groups. We've got 25. Uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine for now. Right, you guys drink deep of the nectar. I mean, it never helps having your Pikmin flowered because it does make them stronger, but I'd rather power up the reds as opposed to the yellows. Okay, not bad. Right, let's go, boys. Let's go. We've got a decently strong army here. Unfortunately, we do have... Are you guys all with me? I think so. That's fine. Yeah, unfortunately, with the uh, weaker leaf... Pe um, I'm going to say Pokemon, then. Uh, Pikmin, they will kind of lag behind, and it's very easy to um, miss them and leave them behind, leave them for dead, which is frustrating. Now, we have a grey... We have a very grey wall there. 
Right, let's see. Yeah, let's take these guys out ourselves. Now, Olimar's not too bad at fighting these tiny little things, as you can see. It does save our Pikmin. But he's certainly not as strong as uh, the other guys. Right, that'll do. That's not done too bad. Right, you guys. There's 24 of you. How many does it take to pick this up? 20. Good. So that's the radar. The radar is something that's very important. That gives us four yellows left, actually. Yeah, five yellows left. Not bad. Okay, cool. So we can see that there. We actually need some bomb rocks to blow that up. Uh, yeah, they are going the right way. Good stuff. Now, I believe we're going to need six bomb rocks to destroy that. Not sure why they're picking these bombs up so slowly. But hey. I suppose either or guys. There we go. Not bad. Right, let's take this out. So, let's count. One. Two. Three. Alright, so this is going to take nine. It's going to take nine to blast this down. Damn, okay, right. Well, luckily there are some more bomb rocks. Now, there's only, I think... I don't think bomb rocks uh, are unlimited. There is only a set amount on each level, which is frustrating. But here is our whimsical radar. That's going to make things a lot easier. Nice. Whimsical radar. This important part can detect the locations of the other missing parts. The radar will be added to my monitor, which I can press plus to view. Up and down. Yeah, okay, cool. I have now recovered. Right, so we've got three parts. So basically, what we can do with this, which is really freaking cool. So now we can push plus, and we have an actual map, and it shows us where all of the parts are, which are the stars. And it shows us where all of our Pikmin are, and the colours of said Pikmin as well. It's actually a really nice... Really, guys? Really? Thank you. Oh, God. The penny finally drops with that one. Alright, let's go. We've got a lot to accomplish, guys. And very little time to accomplish that said task. Look how slow uh, that guy is. It's not his fault. He's only little, but still. What we could do... Ah, we do need to sort that out. Which we can't at the moment. Right, guys, stay here. There's a. This is a job for Olimar. Which, frustratingly enough... Come on, there we go. Get fucked, matey. Good. Right, you guys, use your bomb rocks. Alright, we might actually be able to get through here. That was stupid? Yep. That's what happens if they get caught in their own explosion. Now, that was so common and very easy to do in the original game. It was ridiculous. Right, okay. Well, those, they're going to harvest up that. That's fine. Now, let's have a little look through here, shall we? Hmm. Looks like we have an adult. Have an adult Bulborg there. Let's go just bum rush him. Need to get him out of the way. Alright, we did actually lose some Pikmin power there, which is unfortunate. Alright, not bad. Okay, cool. That's fine. Let's start smashing this down. Get everybody on that. Now, this is an interesting area. This is a dark gate, as you can see. It takes significantly more strength to knock that down, but we can just sneak in through here. <laughs> now, good old Olimar. Olimar, come on you dickhead actually is fairly good at taking these guys out but it takes far too long to take out an adult yeah, as I can demonstrate yeah, you can see just how little damage we actually do to these guys like, it's not even really showing up, but there's a spicy meatball here Look at that bastard. I have found the Nova Blaster. This emits a dazzling burst of light, capable of destroying almost anything. 
I'm not exactly sure about this, but the promotional brochure claims that its blast can travel in the currents of space-time, smashing through stars and into rifts of space. Oof. Yeah, we're going to need to weaponize Alamar here. Now, I'm not really sure of the legalities of this universe, whether everybody seems to have weapons of mass destruction attached to their ship. Yeah, you can see it's just not happening. We can be attacking this guy forever. Might as well wait for our Pikmin. Okay, cool. So, let's have a little look what we've got. We've got him. Uh, now, once we get those bomb rocks through there, actually, whilst they're working on that gate, what I can do is go the long way around. Ah, not bad. Okay. We have a yellow Pikmin here. Might as well get him to demo this up. Chuck your rock, matey boy. And look at that. There's a lot of... Um, Right, you. Come here. There's a big pellet there. What is that? That's a 20. That would be a nice bonus to the population. Right, you get to work on that. I'm going to go get our other troops. Now, we should, if we're quick, be able to snag two more parts today. Which would be a three-part day. That's pretty efficient. Getting, Bearing in mind, um, to get every part... Oh, there's a wisp. See that little bastard there? He carries nectar. They can be tricky to get, but they're worth getting. Because if you hit them just right, they do drop nectar, which is nice. Right, okay, we'll have these guys, have those guys. We need to get rid of that, because that's going to make things a lot easier. Is that all of my Pikmin accounted for? Alright, alright, alright. Come on, boys. Alright, no space for slacking in this man's army. I need all of you guys ready to go. Bob, are you slacking off again? No, Bob's not. Yeah, we're really running out of time, but that's okay. We should be okay. We should be okay. Right, let's just go around here. Now, we want to segregate our Pikmin and get some bomb rocks. Right, you guys come here. Once we've got the bomb rocks, we're pretty much good to go. Looks like we've got a couple of... Oh, shit. I forgot about that fucker. That's all right. We don't need to worry about him just yet. Let's pick up these bomb rocks. That'll do. That'll do. That's enough. Now, you can use these bomb rocks against uh, sleeping enemies and just enemies in general. And it's not a terrible strategy, but it's more effective against some enemies than others. Right, let's go. There we go. That should be enough. Right, that's that's done it. Sweet. Right, let's go get our soldiers. And ready for war. Oh, God. Stay well away from that water. Water is a death sentence. Okay. See if we can blast this guy up. Yeah, that'll work. That will work. Right. In that case, let's get to work on these guys. Right. I want 30 on that. That's fine. Cool. And who else do we have? Right. Those guys can drag that back. Now, we have another item up here. You get here. What I would like, actually... Do I have enough yellows? I've got 10 there. I'm hoping they're going to drop the... Nah, that's the trouble. Once they've got the explosives, I don't know how to... How to... Ah, look, there's a wisp. Come on. Um, there we go. Hit him. Cool. That'll work. Alright, get that nectar. Now... Yeah, I know, I know. No, I don't think we're going to have the time, really. To get that other item back. But that's okay. We've got the Nova Blaster. Right. That's that. Nova Blaster. This is a weapon of such incredible destructive force that it can blast stars into tiny pieces. It has a strange allure. I've now recovered four of 30 parts. If I can just find one more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Yeah, so basically, if we get one more part, 
we can... All right, come here. Uh, we can actually increase the range and open up another part of the map, which is nice. Now, let's see if we can get this back. This is the Extraordinary Bolt. I bought this incredible bolt because the salesman told me it's of extraordinary quality. That is indiscernible. Uh, the average person. Exactly what makes it so extraordinary is a secret. But just look at it. Extraordinary. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a very useful part, does it? And it is not a very useful part. There are several parts in this game that you don't need to complete it. This is one of them. Right, let's check. Okay. Alright, let's make sure we get all of our guys. Alright, cool. You're with me. There's one there. We've got the yellows up there. That's fine. Would be nice if we can get this back. But I have my doubts. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh, we've done it. <laughs> right in the last second there. Nice. I'm happy with that. Now, everybody should be here, so we shouldn't leave anybody behind. Extraordinary bolt. This bolt holds the kind of value that only a true connoisseur can understand. I have recovered five of 30 parts, increasing the dolphin's capabilities. My search can now cover a wider area. Well, all righty then. And there we go. Once we hit a milestone, the ship does get patched up, which is always nice to see. All right, hurry, gather your Pikmin. We have all of our Pikmin, I believe. Well, I bloody well hope so, otherwise we're over a bad time. We're actually only on, like, 16 minutes. I don't really want to upload a 16-minute video. I hate uploading videos that are less than at least 20 minutes. Hmm. Well, maybe we can squeeze in another day. Oh, no, there was one yellow Pikmin left behind. No! It's probably that one slacking off earlier. I now add yellow Pikmin to my list of discoveries. These creatures can wield bomb rocks. So perhaps I can use them to blast down rock walls and open up new regions. Red and yellow Pikmin, as well as bomb rock carriers, break into squads when dismissed with C. If I grab one for a moment by Holt, yeah, 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 we know, we know all this stuff. So, one left behind and one lost in battle. We only sprouted 25 men. But that's not too bad. Right, save complete. Um, been 18 minutes, man. That's really not very good. So we can go to the Forest Naval, which is our next area. Now, what we can do at the Forest Naval... <sighs> We've set this area up quite well, but the Forest Naval is an important milestone. And that is because uh, we will get our final type of Pikmin, which is the Blue Pikmin. Now, the good important thing about that is once we have opened up Blue Pikmin, we can now get everything in the game. There is nothing that we can't actually achieve because we've got the uh, fire Pikmin, the yellow... I call them fire Pikmin because they're uh, uh, immune to fire. We have the yellow Pikmin that can be thrown far further. And we have the water Pikmin. So, um, ooh, let's go and see. Or should we clean up this area? Because by the time we come back here, after we've been to that place... Most of the wildlife's going to be back. Also, if we if we come to the impact site on a certain day, there is a hidden boss that we can fight. Hmm. Let's go to the forest naval. Now, this is um, essentially as far as I've been. I, I I haven't actually played the forest naval for about twenty years, so my knowledge on this is going to be rusty. But we are going to get 100%, like I said. We are going to get everything. So, first day in a new area. Let's explore. Let's get the troops out. Uh, let's go with... Let's get a squad of 50. 
50 is a good number to start with. What have we got? Have we got any grass around here? So we need to blast this wall down. And we do have our radar. Now the music here is rather fantastic as well. Um, okay, let's start having a little look around. Now we do have these rocks. Do, they, do these rocks do anything? They do. I thought they did. They actually produce nectar. Similar to the grass. Alright, uh, yeah, I'm fun there, lads. Suppose, really, we don't want to waste that if we can help it. Come on, guys. This way. So, we've got some posies growing. That's fine. We have some more grass there. Wow, these are all max level as well. Uh, we've got a bomb bridge there that we can get rid of. Now, this little hole on the ground here, that's actually a geyser. If we stand on it as Alamar, well, I'm not sure how they activate. It will actually shoot us up into the ground. Now, these are another thing Pikmin can build. It's a nice little shortcut. I'm not sure what that's achieved, but hey. It's never a bad idea to build these things, right? They can pluck that grass if they want. Now, another thing here. These are rolly bridges. I call them rolly bridges. I'm not sure if that's what they actually call it. Probably they are. And uh, we can actually use those to get to places. You know, like pretty much normal bridges. Ah, good. Right, let's try and get these guys as well. It can be hard to actually see where they are. Ooh. Right, come here. Ah, wait. Can I chuck a Pikmin down there? Right, okay, that's how those work. You actually have to get Pikmin to um, open them up. And again, once these things are open, they're... Oh, God. Bread bug. Uh, not sure how dangerous bread bugs are. I can't remember. Right, you guys go work on that. Now, this squad can continue building these bridges. Now that down there is a fiery blowhog. They look pretty mean and they can be. They basically have flamethrowers, but red Pikmin are immune to fire. Unfortunately, Olimar is not. Which is bad. So, uh, red Pikmin can take these guys out without much worry. But if we try and make a beeline for this area here, yes, you can see the blue Pikmin. Blue Pikmin is where it's at. Okay, what's going on? Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Let's get this done. Might get some more Pikmin out, to be honest. Ah, shit. How do we get back? Whoa. Whoa, this area is a lot more hostile. This area is way more hostile. Guys, stop playing with the grass. Go kill the fiery blowhog. Now, important thing to note... They can blow your Pikmin over. And that will take their flowers off. And make them weaker. But I don't think they can kill them. I could be totally wrong about that, mind. But I don't think I am. We definitely want to... Oh, no, 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 no. That's bad. We don't want him uh, to be facing the water. Because if this, these guys blow our red Pikmin into the water... Uh, you can imagine that that's bad. Yeah, maybe I should have brought some more. Some more Pikmin. But that's okay. They're, they're doing the job. They're fine. We can always power these guys back up anyway. Uh, how are we doing? Good, good, good. Yeah, we can power these guys back up with this nectar. It's not a problem. There we go. Wouldn't mind kill that one as well. It's like I say, uh, even though these Pikmin can't be hurt by this guy, our other Pikmin can. Nice. Come on, boys. Come on. Look alive, man. That's it. Kill it. Kill it. Nice. Yes, they have the killer instinct. Good work, man. Good work. I wouldn't mind to take him out. Yes. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. 
There we go. Kill it. Get on it. Get on its back. Break its spine. Do it. Do it. That's it. Yes, my minions. Yes. Right. How many? Where are other dudes? We're missing some men. 44. Right. We've got some... Oh, we've got a man stuck over there. Okay, let's go harvest these guys up. I don't really want to leave any behind if we can help it. Okay. And we can power them up again with nectar. Right. Right. Grow strong, my friends. Feed. There we go. Become hench. Right, nice. We don't have to worry about all of them, I guess. Now, what's going on here? So there's a red there and a red there. Yeah, I don't... Ah, oh, man. It seems like such a waste of time to go back and grab just one straggler, but... I'd feel bad if we left the little guy to die, you know? Oh, shit. Oh, he's fallen down. Oh, bad one. Okay. We kind of need to get a wiggle on them because he's actually fallen down. Um, which means he will be left behind. Unless we can get this shit sorted. Okay, so. Let's go. Let's go see if we can save our friend though. Because I really don't like leaving guys behind. If we can help it. Alright. Although they are moronic. They really are moronic. Come on. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, now, I said they were smarter than the GameCube version. I never said they were smart. They're definitely not smart. Right, there we go. They are little more than lemmings. In which case, I suppose we shouldn't feel that bad for them. You know, lambs before for the slaughter and all that. Right, let's get our men ready. Kill them! Prove your worth, men! Oh, God. We lost a lot of dudes there. Okay, let's see if we can bring these guys down. Yeah, these guys are looking a little bit tougher. Good work, man. Good work. Kill it. Nice. No prisoners, men. Burn them all to the ground. Alright. Lost. Yeah, we have lost some men here. Which is not great. Now, all right, you guys can be disbanded whilst I go get the blues. Nice. Now, we're going to want some blues. Now, not bad, man, not bad. Guys. Guys, stop that, stop that, stop that nonsense. Suppose what you can do is harvest up some of these. Actually, where are you guys going? Alright, let's get you guys over there. That blue is ready to go. Guys, you're really not listening. Stop. Cease and desist. I don't know where you think you're going. Okay. Right. Let's get you going, shall we? Let's start building your numbers because we need to get you guys up to speed quick. It is a Pikmin of yet another color. Uh, near this one's cheeks is what appears to be a set of gills. This trait suggests to me that this blue type of Pikmin can enter the water without any trouble whatsoever. There is only one way to find out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, as far as I remember, we don't need loads of these Pikmin. Just um, a few. Probably 50. No more than 50, I wouldn't have thought. Okay. Come on, boy. Come on. Oi! No need to look at your brethren spawning. Yeah, reds are going to be your main. But you, uh, you, need <laughs> you need loads of reds. Just constantly spawning those guys out. Now, unfortunately, that only gives us... Does that give us five? There is a seed. 
Yeah, we've got five. Cool. And come here. Right, nice. No. There we go. That should give us ten. Nice. Now, where were these guys going? Ah, right. So, we can actually get back to our base this way. Interesting. Not that that really helps us too much. Now, I don't know how many blues we need. On this level, I should say. We need to find some bomb rocks as well. Okay. Good stuff. Right, that's ten blues. Alright, blues can have all of this stuff. Like so. Now, we haven't seen any bomb rocks, which is perplexing. Uh, we can go down there with them. I am wondering whether to take these guys home. Not the blues. Come on. There we go. And see what we can do with these guys. We are running out of... Uh, running out of daytime here. Which is concerning. Alright, let's just go for it. Yeah, because to lose that many reds would be pretty catastrophic. So hopefully we're not going to lose that many reds. Right, we've got 20 blues. That should be fine. Um, now... Let's have a little look this way. I really would like to start opening up that place. But we can't. Not yet, anyway. Come on, this way, guys. Ah, so we have another part here. I found my number one Ionium jet. Unfortunately, this puts out slight odoriferous exhaust. But it does propel me to escape velocity in an instant. The stench is a small price to pay for such performance. Yes, so we only need 15. All right. Cool. So we've got all those guys working on that. Um, yeah, we can't actually bust that open ourselves. Right, there's our red. Oh boy. This is going to take a while to break through if we've only got one red. Right, let's get him working on that. Oh, nice. Ah, we can actually get up here. I see. I see what the reds were trying to do. Right, let's call our soldier boys. Now. Is that all of them? That's all of them. Okay, six. Right. Is that literally all of them? Or are we missing some dudes somewhere? Nope, that's the full army. Cool. Right, let's roll, guys. Let's roll. We've got a lot, of do, a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it. There we go. I'll be happy with one part today. Yeah, you guys can open that up. That's fine. After all, there are some water enemies. Ah, interesting. See that flower over there all the way in the distance? We can throw blues into that or any color into that. Um, the Pikmin that are carrying our spoils seem to be milling about in one place with their loads. It appears that their path back to the onion is blocked and faced with what seems to be an insurmountable obstacle, uh, obstacle, they have lost their focus. This is unacceptable. I will have to determine what is blocking their way and do what I can to resolve the problem. Yeah. Um, guys, look. Drop your load. And... Oh. Be useful, guys. Come on. Time is not on our side here. Come on, men. No time for slacking off. This is going to be tight. This is going to be very tight. In fact, I have my doubts if we're going to make this. Not with our load, anyway. But, if we go back to the impact site... We can possibly, well, we can definitely fish, finish it off. Right, you guys drink this stuff up. No point wasting this nectar. Right, go grab that. 
many of you that can anyway. There we go. Five. Four. Come on, guys. Three. Two. One. No, don't think we're going to make it. Let's grab them all. Okay, that's fine. That will still be there when we come back. So we can literally land and grab that straight away. Now we have all of the Pikmin. So, now the show can really begin. This is excellent. I love Ol Olimar in there. He's just chilling. Now, that thing sucks. It's called a Bollywog or something. They suck. Four days since impact. Deep in the cave, I have discovered, in the forest, I encountered blue Pikmin. These blue fellows have something resembling gills on their cheeks, and they appear to be amphibious, surviving both in water and land. The wonders of nature never cease to stun me, even in this alien land. Yep, we lost four in battle, that's fine. And we only sprouted 20. Now, the good thing about heading back to the impact site, it's going to be day four... Now, we'll leave the impact site for now. Um, because I do want to show off the hidden boss, so to speak. Um, the good thing about the impact site is it's a really good place to go and grind out uh, Pikmin. If you need more souls, more meat for your army, it's the best place to go. Right, so we're going to have to save here, guys. And when we come back, we are going to probably go back here and we might be able to get all four last parts maybe we're certainly going to have a look so thanks for watching guys